Now, let's go back to the player spawns. You see this is waypoint one. Now waypoint doesn't mean player spawn. Waypoint is just a waypoint. Now what we can do is we can click here waypoint one and select player one spawn. Player one start I mean. Now select waypoint two and click player two start. Go to waypoint three. Click player three start. And go to waypoint four and then just click player four start. Now now you have the player starts. Now if you might if you might view this in the game, this might not be even. The player spawns are not going to be even and I can assure this. So what you can do, they're not going to be perfectly aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the player spawn, let's say with this this right here. You see this thing that's coming out, the ground, and then I'm going to align it to this line. Now an easy way to fix alignment is to carefully track this. I believe this looks like it is coming down from here. I believe it is this one. And we can move it here to here. Now these two look like they're aligned, and you could always get a ruler. We can use this. No. No! This is going to be player. Ah, what did I, I use the scroll key? This is going to be player three, I believe. And then this is going to be four. Player four start. Okay, so. Now we can just zoom out. Take this and make sure they are aligned. Looks good. And we can always, the reason I'm putting this here is to track if the lines go correctly. Okay, looks good. So now we have all the player spawns. Now a player spawns, how would they want how would they play? Well actually before we talk on how would a player play, we should talk on how they would how both of them would connect to each other. We would need a bridge of some sort. And I believe that the best way to put well, the best place to put this bridge is in the middle, in case a player would want to call for reinforcements but then it is more difficult because the bridge might be down and you'd need an engineer to fix the bridge. So, in order for us to add a bridge, I believe there is a tool to add Okay, so I have found the bridge and the bridge happens to be under a civilian structure and if you click B you should find the bridge. Now you won't see the picture of the bridge but there are different types of bridge and I am going to demonstrate this right now. With the first type of bridge, see the second type look awfully similar so I will remove this. Let's see bridge two bridge three this is a lot more clean so what bridge would match this kind of landscape I believe this bridge would so I what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my oh, what's it called my select tool and oh no 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 stay there I'm going to click this delete it and click this delete it now I want a bridge in this map so I will uh, I will take this no no let it, let it go Take this. Uh, let's say, where do we want the bridge? Where is the center of the map where should where the bridge should be? I'd say here, this one place, and then we should we can move this here to the other place. Now, this is the bridge right here. Let me just even it out. This looks a lot better like that. Now this looks more like a bridge. But it's just close to this like
Okay, this looks better. No, no, wait a minute. Alright, okay, there we go. That looks a lot better now. So, this is the bridge. Now, that is the only possible way for one side to help the other side. Ex unless, except with Air Force, which is a different story now. So, we have that. Now, when the player plays, we need Tiberium. Tiberium. Now, a, g a good technique to add Tiberium I have encountered was to put a couple green Tiberium next to the player spawn and then add more t red, uh, blue Tiberium in the middle to make it more difficult to obtain. But if you have obtained it and secured it, then you have a better chance of survival. Uh, actually, uh, a hell lot more better chance of survival, especially since the money is very difficult to acquire within this game. And a map like this, there's there would be a lot of intense work in it, and it would be difficult. So what I'm going to do is I am going to bring, let's see, where the build tool right here, and I know this from past experiences that Tiberium is under natural misc natural and if you scroll down it should be Tiberium field Tiberium field blue Tiberium fields from harvest or death and ignore this and then Tiberium red zone now Tiberium red zone is a Tiberium that looks like that there is no blue red zone sadly there is this Tiberium which is normal green Tiberium and then there is the normal blue Tiberium so I'm going to add a normal blue Tiberium into all bases now, this is the base spawn right here, if I am not wrong. And let's, let's add Tiberium here. Let's move this curse. Let's move the player spawn more forward. Now, as you can tell, the Tiberium field is right here. And you, can see, you, you don't see any of the Tiberium in the ground. And there's this weird circle, white circle around it. Now, in our, you, if you place this, you would not see the circle. Or you should not see the circle. If you don't, then click View. Go down to Influence and make sure you have selected show Tiberium field radius now this will show you where the Tiberium would go up to a max so you don't have the player spawn in it or you don't have the player spawn too far away from it now this map is going to be a fairly tight map considering the fact that it that the player would spawn here uh, I'm putting my finger on the screen at this exact spot so I can move this player here and so to make it even now looks like we want the player to be there and let's move him forward a little or is it where's the where's the player spawn it's right there so have it here and let's align it does not look right. Uh, there we go. That looks more aligned. As you can see, it's right there. Which, that thing right there, which goes down to here. And so now we have all the player spawns. Now let's add the Tiberium. Let's make one here, here, here. Now, this Tiberium is really and in order to increase space amount I'm going to add it on the, the fair edge of the map like that to allow the player to get the most tabiering he can while while using the most space he has to him and I'm going to add it closer to the hill now as you can tell this isn't like the Tiberium you would see on the EA custom made maps because it's just the root with not there, there is no there is not that green crystals inside. And the reason is is because we have not this chose just the ground. Now let's click on the pixelated brush tool 
and in order to allow us to see this you want to click under visibility and click visible I'll put this down now what you no sorry and cl no click visibility and then click not visible my, my fault so now what you do is you want to click here and now this is removing the visibility of the ground as you can tell I'm removing the visibility of the ground and you should be able to see the water through it because the ground is just invisible and the, the ground doesn't exist and I'm going to look around this Tiberium field to make sure I removed all the ground I'm going to do the same for this and the same for this now I can already tell you how intense this map is going to be especially since an AI's technique is to go rush with infantry to the player while the player is trying to build the, the super weapons like the mammoth tank or uh, or the uh, Marv or Redeemer or any other super weapon or super vehicle that a player would want and that's what no, that's what a new average player that's what I would do and that's what my friends would do so I'm going to make it to make it the Tiberium um, to Tiberium grow back faster than normal and the normal is 20 seconds till the Tiberium grows back and I am going to boost it and have it into 15 seconds to because this will uh, I'll, I'll put it into t 10 seconds and this will really really show if you have one grow one um, one harvester but if you have um, multiple harvesters the Tiberium will start to go away faster faster and faster so now we have that now this is no oh, 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 no don't select the bridge I don't want to mess up what I did so now we have this now we start get player gets Tiberium he goes kills the enemy wins the game now this is a pretty it's 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 an intense I, I, it's it's a dull map with not much in it and the reason I say that is because we do not have a town now, buildings and structures and tip spikes and EMP towers, those make the game entertaining because it just pisses the player off. He's like, damn it, I got EMP'd. Ugh, it just pisses the player off. So, what to add is I am going to click on place objects. Go here, scroll up, and then click on structures under natural. And I should find the oh no wait no uh, no it's not going to be under civilian it's going to be under the structures under natural and I should find an EMP center electromagnetic pulse control center now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two on each side and what's a good place to, oh I know exactly where to add this now remember how we made the hill what I can do is I can take the flattening tool I can move the camera like that I can go to the hillside and just do that to it now what this does is this gives me space to add the EMP control center without affecting gameplay now let's click add an object and the EMP control center could be right there now this land is very weird now and the reason is because the edge so what I can do is I can just do this and the EMP control center would be right there and the land would look fairly okay I'm going to do the same to the other side click on the, this tool lower the ground like that I'm going to lower more than what I need because I'm going to use the softener tool to make sure and make sure that this does not go outside the map so it's just a gap into the void and then I'm going to add an EMP control center here which my friend hates truly from his heart hates because it just annoys him very much now when you have an EMP control center you want to keep the EMP control center to you and not have any other players take control of it and good way to do that is to add bunkers 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 now, there should be bunkers here oh it's a bunker now I'm just going to add a bunker like right about there actually no I'm not going to add a bunker there I'm going to add a bunker here more to the outside this to allow the bunker to easily be destroyed 
but with enough support, it could last longer. Plus, that is not the only reason I'm adding the bunker there. I would love to add a... Where did it go? It is the Tiberium Spike. Tib Spike. Tiberium Spike. I'm going to add two Tiberium Spikes next to this. And I love Tiberium Spikes. And my other maps, you can easily tell that I love Tiberium Spikes. Well, my other map, not maps, map. I've only made one map recently. Tip spike here. Tiberium spike here. Let me add a Tiberium spike here. A Tiberium spike here. And the Tiberium spike here would make it difficult for the player, and you'd have to perform. The, the, the engineer might die trying to get to that Tiberium spike. Which is better. Like giving difficulty to the player and pressure and annoyingness is a key to map making. Hint. Yeah, that type of spike right there. There. Now, I believe there are enough Tiberium spikes in the map right now. And what I am going to do is I am going to add a defense turret on the bridge. <laughs> I, I love adding defense turrets. It just makes the game Ten times more fun. And, uh, let's see here. Let's see. F f f f build. And the defense turret should be somewhere here. Defense turret. It is this turret that is known by many people. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm. Before I add the bridge, let me just use this. Go back. Have the 50 tool have the ground raised like that, right there. Space for the defense turret. I'm going to do the same to the other side. And then we can uh, easily add a... No, that's a Tiberium spike. I want a defense turret. Defense turret. So as you can see, the defense turret's right there, and I want it facing towards the bridge. So I'm going to do the same thing to this side. 